Good morning. Go if you're gonna go. This is 11.3.3. Uh, .3. I have been away. This is my first local drive here and the first drive I've filmed. And we're gonna see if there are any improvements. Um, I had the pleasure though of, uh, this is where they merge the beta local driving with an upgraded version of the highway autopilot. And so like this is two pieces of software merged together as one. And in all honesty, I was scared to death that they were going to ruin the highway portion because it was rock solid. It did not make mistakes. Um, it was a pleasure to drive. And I was scared to death that they were going to fix something and make that worse. Well, I am pleasantly surprised. It makes lane changes perfectly. It, if a car is, you're coming up on a car, you're doing 70 miles an hour, that car is doing 60 miles an hour and it's a quarter mile away. It puts the blinker on and gets into that lane the proper amount of time as to not impede the flow on any other cars that are maybe going faster in that lane. It is, does a superb or excellent job at that. The only thing I've noticed here is this road has been recently repaved as you can see, but they haven't put the lines yet. They do in fact have um, little markers so you know where the center lane is, but it seems to uh, actually center itself in this lane and it you can see the other cars normally do not do that because when we get up to this corner you want to leave enough room for cars on the right to proceed however because we have an exclusive green and green arrow it really doesn't matter anymore years ago it mattered a lot because one person hogging the lane would block maybe 10 cars that were going to be turning one thing that i have noticed that it does is um when the speed limit changes uh, to a lower speed, it immediately slows down. And that was a little bit of a problem because it may take 45, no, it, it might take 30 seconds for it to slow 10 miles an hour. I'm going to speed up a little bit here because the speed limit changes to 45 around this bend and there are a line of cars behind me. Um, so that is much improved. The other thing is, it seems to read the stop sign, of uh, the uh, speed limit signs further away. So if there, let's say the speed limit sign up here said, would say 50 miles an hour, people would start speeding up here to 50, so it actually does read the speed limit sign and it starts to accelerate from the previous speed and that's much improved um, rather than waiting to pass the sign now i don't really like that it got into this lane because when it gets into this lane right here it has to merge and it has to merge left and ever since uh, I want to say 10.69 2.2 it really screws up it merges it starts to slow down even if you're in the lane that other people are merging into and yeah we really should be in that lane because this lane ends Now, 
now we're going to see if it, yeah, it's slowing up here. I'm going to put my foot on the accelerator because I don't want to confuse anybody. The other thing is I've noticed that there are much more nags and that it makes plenty sure you are, in fact, uh, paying attention, holding a little bit of tension on the wheel. Uh, the other thing, if you... I've always noticed this, that if you are looking at something on the map and it sees your head or eyes staring at that map, it starts screaming at you, telling you, pay attention. And even if you tug the wheel, see no blinker here. I mean, it did it perfectly, but I, I would have used a blinker there. And it... And the unusual um, blinker activity is a little bit, still a little bit here, puts its blinker on inappropriately sometimes and then takes it right off. But um, so far, so good. Um, I am going to speed up a little bit here because there are cars behind us and people, you know, I want to keep up at least with this vehicle ahead of us here. It never knows how to get into this, um, um, for lack of a better word, shopping center where um, there we are going going to a particular office located in there. Um, it always wants to pull down like a service alley. So we're going to see if it actually knows, although navigation, I don't believe, has changed much. It depends on the map data and whatever. And anyhow, so far this has been an uneventful drive. It really has not ticked off anybody. I did have one intervention where I had to hit the accelerator when we got to the merge. Uh, and... Other than that, uh, so far so good. Um, later today I'm going to try the three traffic lights, although the third traffic light is very difficult to test because you have to be number one. And it's very difficult to be the first car in line um, to see if it wants to attempt to run that light. Um, the other two lights, um, one way is relatively easy, the other way is pretty difficult but it can be done much easier and we're going to see where this takes us okay it actually I thought it would take us into the parking lot but it would not it takes us into the parking lot over there but anyhow it did in fact get us here and uh we're good to go. So, anyhow, a good drive, or good first drive at least, uh, in a local situation uh, with 11.3.3. Um, .3. More to come. Thank you much. Bye.